Hi friends, it's Loli. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you some patriotic DIYs. And these are perfect for Memorial Day, 4th of July, Memorial Day, or just simply for everyday decor. All projects were made using Dollar Tree items. Please enjoy the video. For the first inspiration piece, I'm going to use one of these cotton boards from the Dollar Tree. And after removing the tag and the dust off of it, I'm going to use a Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it to that center middle, that little indentation in within the cotton board. I just made a nice thick coat of Mod Podge, just being careful to stay within those lines because I did not want the cotton board outside area to have that Mod Podge film over it. Then I'm going to take one of these napkins from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to unfold it completely and remove that extra layer of paper that it comes with. But before I do that, I want to remove all these little pleats that the napkin had. So I took a piece of parchment paper and my tiny little ironing board. I call it ironing board, but it's a press. I just got that to just go ahead and remove those pleats so I'm able to use the entire napkin without those folds. And now that the napkin is wrinkle free, I'm going to go ahead and cut off a piece that I will be using to add to my cutting board. And then I remove that extra ply of napkin. Now I'm going to go ahead and place that napkin right there under the indentation. I'm trying to make sure that the edges are nice and clean and I'm pressing it down as I'm going to make sure to remove any wrinkles or any bubbles and to make sure that this adheres to the Mod Podge as best as possible. But friends, the napkin tore, so I had to restart. So here I had already added some Mod Podge to the cotton board. I'm trying a different approach to it this time. And the Mod Podge already dried and I'm taking a new piece of tissue, well napkins actually, and removing that back in like I did from the beginning and I'm going to apply it using the heat method instead. So what I did is take a piece of parchment paper and place it on top of the napkin. And then I'm going to iron it using my little press there. But I'm making sure first that my stars are nicely aligned and that the paper is not sideways or anything. And here I'm applying the heat. I started with the middle because I wanted to make sure that I adhere properly and then working my way to the edges in order to make sure that I'm, I'm taking the um, bubbles or the air pockets or whatever and I'm stretching the paper out in a manner in which everything will be nice and straight and we won't have any bubbling or anything, any spaces in which there's no adherence. I just make sure to pay close attention to the edges to make sure that those also got attached properly and I used the little corner of my iron in order to get to those far to reach places. Then I cut off the axis and I'm going to go ahead and use the fire to eliminate the extra napkin from this size here. I was a little bit skeptical about trying this because of the plastic, but it worked out pretty good. So I was pretty happy with the results. There were a couple areas in which the napkin or the fire didn't get rid of the tissue there. So I lifted up those little edges and then tried it again and that came out nice and clean. And there was no burn to my cotton board. Now I'm just coming in with a little nail file, just filing out little pieces that still are sticking out and might just have a little bit of chart on it. Just cleaning up the edges. Then I took some jute cord from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and line it all around the edge there in which the cotton board and the napkin meet. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to ask you to please give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. It is free and it means the world to me. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a video. Then I added some jute cord to the bottom as well. I spent it around the bottom about four times. And then once I was done, actually more than four times, eight times. <laughs> and then I just tacked it down with some hot glue. And then I'm using some of that fire from that lighter to get rid of the fuzzies. I created a little finger bow with jute cord and I'm going to just stick it right there in the middle and cut off the excess, excess tail. Now I'm going to use some of these wooden letters from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use USA 
And I'm just going to take some of my Flamingo Red um, Apple Barrel Paint and I'm going to go ahead and paint all three of these letters. Once those dried, I'm going to go ahead and stick them using some hot glue in the front of my cotton board. And you think I'm done? I'm not done yet. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this jute cord from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to add it to the handle of the cotton board. I just felt like it was a little bit bare and I just wanted to add a little bit more detail onto this piece. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're so in inclined to do, if you're enjoying this video as well, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It is free and it means the world to me. And it also, it also lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job and it shows my video to more people. And hit the notification bell so you're able to be notified each time I upload a video. Thank you so much. Once I was satisfied with the amount of jute cord on the handle, I'm going to tack it down using a little bit of hot glue. And I also tack down a jute cord from the bottom to make sure that they stayed in place. And you know I hate the fuzzies so I went ahead and burned them off of here. And now we are done. Guys, I really love the rustic feel of this cutting board. You guys let me know what you think. My friends, today's video is part of a collaboration. It is hosted monthly on the first, first of each month. And it is hosted by Chantel from Crafty Hints, Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY, and Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. The link to the channels and to the playlist will be in the description box below. All right, let's jump back in with DIY number two. For this project, I'm going to use one of these wall decor from Dollar Tree. It is new for me this year. I haven't seen it before. But if you have, let me know in the description box below. For the next step, I'm going to use one of these bandanas from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of two, but I'm just going to use one of them. And I liked the most the one that had the vintage flags. Then I take some Mod Podge and I'm going to completely cover the little raised area there in order to adhere my flag. Friends, if you try this, I will suggest that you paint that piece first because it, it ended up showing at the end of the DIY. Once I had the fabric exactly in the placement that I wanted, I'm coming back in on top of it with some more Mod Podge to go ahead and seal this in. I have very good adhesion. And I made sure to pay close attention to the edges. And then I cut off the excess fabric. Once I had it all secure in place, I'm just going to go ahead and use my heat gun to dry off the excess. And then I'm going to go ahead with some more Mod Podge at the top, making sure that everything is nice and sealed in. And I'm coming back in with my heat gun once again. I repeated the same process with all three of the raised areas on this welding car. Once the Mod Podge was dry, I took a utility knife and I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess fabric by putting the utility knife against the edge of that rest area, but just being very careful not to get that paper cut and peeling off. Once I completed that process with all three of the tiles, I'm going to come in with some of my antique wax and a chip brush, and I'm going to antique all the edges of the entire thing. Then I took some burlap fabric or burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree along with some patriotic ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and dovetail the edges of each one of these. Then I position them like you see there in a crisscross manner and I'm going to use some of this jute cord that I found from Dollar Tree as part of the short living line and eventually I found the end here and I just took a little piece of it and I'm going to cinch the middle of this ribbons right here and I'm going to use the jute cord to tie it. And then I tied the bow to the original hanger. And then I created a bow using that jute cord and I'm going to go ahead and tie it on top of the original bow. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to take one of these stars from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it using my white 
craft mart paint and once I'm going to go ahead and dry this really quickly with my heat gun and then I'm coming in with some antique wax and I'm going to just distress the edges of this little star as well. And then glue it right in the middle of my bowl right there. And now right here, guys, we are done. Let me know what you think of this piece. I love it. For the third and final inspiration piece, I'm gonna use one of these crates from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove that sticker and I'm going to come in using some white paint from Craft Mart. With this paint, I completely covered the entire crate with the exception of the top and bottom slats and the bottom. Then I came in with some Flamingo Red from Apple Barrel and I'm going to paint the top and bottom slats using that paint. And this is how it's looking so far. Then I took some floral foam from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting it down to it to fit a little bit lower onto the crate. I'm using some hot glue. Then I'm gonna use some of these lilacs. I'm going to call them, cut them individually and I'm going to place them on each of the four corners of the crate and then add two more on the middle of those two picks, if that makes any sense. Now I'm taking three of these Dollar Tree stars and I'm going to just place them on here on the front, but first I'm going to take some of my uh, Waverly antique wax and I'm going to lightly stain this using a baby wipe with a little bit of the antique wax. And now it's time to attach this to the front of the crate. I added one in the middle and I'm going to add the other two on the sides of it to complete three of them. Now I'm coming in with this pick of white flowers that also came from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to place them in between all of the blue flowers. And while I was placing them, I made sure to bring the greenery down so that will cover the floral foam. And then I took some of these red flowers from the Dollar Tree as well, and I'm going to put them in between the colors on there. It is easier for you to see instead of having me explain. And here it is, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to take some antique wax and I'm going to brush it along the front of this and the sides and everything. I do want this to be a bit antique, so I'm just doing that very light brush with some antique, wa antique, antique wax. And now we are done. Let me know what you think. And here is a final reveal. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts in the comments. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly and if you like to follow me on social media here are my social media links and here are some suggestions for videos as well and don't forget to visit the playlist there's amazing creators making some great things you don't want to miss it okay guys thanks again bye